In the first match in the second selection arc, Team White is lost to Team Red with the finish score being 5-2 and with that loss comes a great prize because the player that Team White chose to steal is none other than Bashira Meguru. He is the one who will have to go with Rin and leave Isagi behind. Before Bashira goes, he tells Isagi that he wanted to stay with Isagi until the very end and if Isagi wants Bashira back, then he will have to come back and steal him back, leaving Nagi and Isagi behind. When they go back, they sit down and awaits the next challenge. Nagi sees that the loss took a lot on Isagi and he tries to cheer him up, but then he Isagi tells Nagi that he isn't like him and that he was totally helpless in the last match. He couldn't do anything by himself or created a chemical reaction like Nagi and Bashir did. After that, Isagi starts to feel bad for himself before Nagi gets pissed and grabs Isagi by his hair and tells him that the only reason he teamed up with Isagi was that he thought that Isagi could help him get better at soccer and that he isn't helping either one of them by being a sore loser and tells him to get it together. When Nagi compares Isagi to Ryo, Isagi gets angry and tells him that he should have teamed up with Ryo then and that he shouldn't compare and push his ideals on Isagi. Nagi explains that he can't be helped because he's only played with Ryo before. After that, Isagi tells him that if that's true, then he can do anything without Ryo. That's when Nagi tells Isagi that he is in the same boat because Isagi is totally useless without Bashira. And that's when Isagi finally understands that he has lost Bashira and that's why he's so irritated. After that, Nagi explains what Ego wants to get out of the second selection. He tells Isagi that this time it's the power of the individuals which is being tested. They realize that in their last game when they tried to win by playing a playstyle which were focused on passing and team play isn't going to work out and that the key to breaking through the second selection arc is to win in a 1v1. And with that, another one enters the room. This time it's a familiar face, it's Baro, with the company of Isagi's old teammate, Naruhaya. When Baro enters, the room starts heating up, with him and Nagi going off at each other. They're even ready to start playing right away, but that's when Naruhaya tells them that they have to wait 24 hours to play once again. When Nagi and Isagi go to their room, they try to come up with a new strategy to win. They think about what it is that they are missing, and realize that their weapons are something that can only be useful when there's a pass coming to them, and that without someone that understands their weapon and who can help them with a high ball passing skills, they can't really shine them by themselves. In the dining room, there's a lot of new faces of players who lost 3 vs 3 matches, but that's not Nagi's biggest concern, because Nagi saw that the only side dishes are Naoto and Taokun. Anyway, they sit down and start to think about who to choose for the next match. They think about choosing a weaker team which give them a higher win percentage, but that would mean that they will lose at a higher stage and he's get sent back. They decide that the best thing is to choose a strong team and get them to their own team, even though the risk of losing skyrockets. Later when Isagi is working and trying to evolve his weapon, Naruhaya comes in. He asks Isagi if he has chosen his next opponent, but he tells him that he hasn't. They discuss it a bit, but then Naraha tells Isagi that it's scary, after all, because if they lose, then they are the ones who won't get chosen. After that, Naraha challenges Isagi to put both of the dreams on the line, and Isagi accepts. Nagi and Isagi is now in the training room, and Nagi tries to help Isagi evolve his new weapon, but they aren't the only ones training, because Baru and Naraha is also training for the big match. It's time. The match between Team White and Team Red. Nagi is the first one to have control of the ball, then runs to Baru, who easily takes the ball from Nagi. He runs to Isagi, but Naruhaya is also running so Isagi has to choose which one to go for. He decides to guard Baru, but before he can do anything, Baru shoots the ball for 29 meters away. While that would have been impossible for him before, but this time it goes in, making it 1-0. to zero. This time Isagi starts with the ball, but is quickly getting pressed down by Naruhaya. Isagi had no idea what to do, but that's when Nagi tells him to kick the ball to an open space, which he does. When Baru questions Nagi's actions, he tells him that he has come up with a way to beat the king himself, Baru. Nagi has realized that he can't win when they are still facing each other, so this time, Baru will have to chase Nagi from behind. He gets behind Baru and runs to the goal, and does an incredible goal, making it 1-1, one -one, while telling Isagi that they can beat them and that it's up to Isagi now. Team Red starts with the ball and Naruhaya passes straight to Baro. Nagi reads him like a book and tells Isagi to surrender Baro with a 2 vs 1 situation because the king wouldn't pass right after a loss. And like that, Isagi gets the ball, thinks about the best way to get his pass to Nagi, if he should pass it in a safe position or not. But now that Nagi is on another level, Isagi can make a shot-like pass to get the ball to Nagi, who traps the ball perfectly and sends the ball right into the net and gets Team White a 1 goal lead. With that, Baro is furious, so he kicks the ball right of kickoff. But luckily, the ball gets saved by the goalkeeper. Naruhaya gets hold of the second ball, which he later passes off to Baro, who scores, making it even. When Isagi gets the ball of Kiko, he gets near Naruhaya, who tells him the real reason that he wanted to fight against Isagi's team. And that was because he thought that he could beat Isagi. All the talking Naruhaya did got Isagi distracted, who made a pass to Nagi, which got cut. And with that, Baro gets the ball and passes it to Naruhaya, thinking that he would get it back. But Naruhaya runs off on his own. When he gets close to the goal, he takes a shot, which gets blocked by the goalkeeper. But the second ball goes on the ground, and the first person to it is Baro, 
who scores, making it 3 to 2. Isagi admits that Narahaya is right and that both of them are lacking something crucial, and the one who finds it first will be the winner of this match. The match starts and Isagi passes the ball to Nagi, thinking that they can do a 2 on 1 and then come behind Narahaya, but even then Narahaya keeps up with Isagi's actions. So instead, Nagi gives the ball back to Isagi, while Nagi runs up on the field, and when he's far enough, Isagi passes the ball back to Nagi, who once again traps the ball beautifully and shoots the ball right into the net. Making the scores even, but right off the bat again, Baru kicks the ball of kickoff, and it would have gone in this time if Nagi wasn't there to stop it. Isagi gets the rebound, but a menacing Narahaya comes from behind and takes it from Isagi. But when he's about to shoot, an even more menacing Nagi comes in front of him. Narahaya gets scared, so he passes the ball to Baru, who gets the ball into the net, making it one goal from the win for Team Red. But after that goal, something snaps for Isagi. He figures it out or at least something out. He realizes that when Narahaya took the ball from Isagi, he was in Isagi's blind spot. He realizes that Narahaya maybe has been going up against Isagi in a position where it made it difficult for Isagi to see him. Then Isagi thinks about it more. He comes to the conclusion that a one-on-one -on -one isn't always the moment when two players are fighting for the ball, but the moment you don't have the ball or also a form on one-on-one. -on -one. That's what Isagi needed to realize. The kickoff starts, and Isagi has the ball before passing it on to Nagi. When he passes the ball, he thinks back to the game between him and Rin, where Rin told him to study how eyeball works, because in that game, Rin also made use of Isagi's blind spot. And like that, Isagi has found the new piece that will help him evolve into a new player. He says that he will be reborn as many times as he needs. And while that happened, Nagi also ends up scoring a goal, making it even. When Nagi tries to talk to Isagi, he tells him to shut up and that he is on a roll right now, which Nagi responds with, very well striker, I guess that means we win. And so the game is back on. Nagi makes sure to block off Baru's way of shooting from kickoff, and because of that, Narahaya tries to come up with different strategies, which will help them win, but Baru just disregards everything that Narahaya says and goes for the shot anyway. But this time, he shoots it in the left corner, and the ball is so close to going in, but in the end, it ends up missing, and then the second ball is in play. Both Narahaya and Isagi runs to it. Whoever gets the ball could end up winning the whole match. Narahaya is closer, so he will end up getting the ball first. He thinks about passing it to Baru, but no, if he wants to change himself and become a genius, then he will have to take the shot right now. He gets to the ball and takes a shot. Everyone looks straight at the goal in fear. The ball shot from Narahaya ends up hitting the post, and like that, the second ball is in play once again. This time, Nagi gets to it first. When Nagi gets the ball, Isagi starts sprinting to her team at goal, but Baru isn't gonna let that happen, so he marks down Isagi. Isagi knows what he has to do to win, because right now he understands the whole situation. Baru is going after Isagi, but Baru also has to look at Nagi, who is behind him. That also means that Baru has to move his head backwards, and when he looks behind him to check on Nagi, that's when Isagi goes into Baru's blind spot. When Baru looks back, he's nervous because he can't find Isagi anywhere, so he will reflexively move to find Isagi once again and that's when Isagi will take his chance to move behind him. And now that Isagi has defeated Baru, it's only up to Isagi to score, so Nagi passes the ball to Isagi, who scores an amazing goal, and with that goal, also wins them the match. At the end of the match, Isagi goes forward to Narahaya, where he tells him that it was a close game, but Narahaya denies that. He tells him that Isagi is far from him, and tells him that Isagi is already a genius, a genius in terms of adaptability. And that's how losing Bashira made Isagi change himself into a better player. Now, you might ask, what does Bashira really have to do with this? Wouldn't Isagi just have gotten a better player with Bashira on the team? And my answer to that is no, because with Bashira, Isagi always has a feeling of relief with him, because he knows that he can count on Bashira's skills and passes. But if Bashira isn't there, he has to think outside the box and think about what he has to do to become a better player by himself, which he manages to do here. If you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe, and while you are down there, also leave a like and a comment as he helps out a ton with the algorithm. If you are wondering about how Hiyoma Shigiri managed to crush Team W, then I would suggest you to watch the video, which will be popping up on the screen right now. Anyway, have a great day, and see you in another video. Bye.